What's up everybody, welcome back to Scars of Whiskey. For our next review, today's review is going to be a cigar that was released in 2016, I believe. It's been a little while. Uh, first time I've seen it available, so why I got it. Uh, it is uh, another cigar by Oscar, uh, Oscar Valadares. And I do apologize if I didn't say it correctly, but he's the, also the creator of The Leaf by Oscar and some other ones, The uh, if you've seen The Island Gym number 2 and things like that. Uh, but this one is the 2000, or 2012 Connecticut. Now this was released apparently, because uh, in 2012 from what I understand, it might be when he, he started his cigar business, so it was celebrating... Uh, uh, five years of being in business, I think it's something like that. Again, don't quote me, it's just something I'm trying to remember from thought here. And yes, I could have prepared for that, but I wasn't thinking about it until just this second. Uh, but this is a Connecticut seed uh, wrapper. It is a Honduran binder, as all, most of his cigars have Honduran in them. And this one's a little interesting. The filler is a Honduran and Nicaraguan blend. So a little bit different. Not necessarily all Honduran, like most of us have seen in a lot of his stuff. He is. He does use other things. Uh, but we'll go ahead and I did get this cigar. Uh, I got it at a new cigar shop. It's been open a few months in the Phoenix area. So if you're in Phoenix, you're looking for a shop. This is your plug, Dave. Wink. Uh, Embargo Cigar Lounge. And also Mike, sorry about that. Uh, in Phoenix, uh, they're in between. They're on Seventh Street, in between Northern and uh, Dunlap. So a little bit different area, but they do have a lot in there. They carry a lot of the boutique cigars, uh, small batches. So with that, he has a lot of the Oscars. I think he has most of the Oscars. There are a few he's still waiting for. Uh, but if you're looking for something like that, there they are. And there's a plug. Let's move on. All right. So with this cigar, uh, like I said, I got it there at, at Embargo's, and uh, it was roughly, I think it's about roughly $9 to $10, uh, just because, you know, uh, it's a good cigar. And it's a little bigger, it is a box pressed, as you can see, uh, and I don't, they have some other sizes, I know they have a short Robusto, uh, a Toro, a 6x52, a 6 and a half by 52 and a 6x60, I am not sure, because this is a box pressed. I'm guessing. I don't know if this is the 6x60. It wasn't wrapped. And thanks to the FDA, soon they will all be wrapped. Just kidding. Uh, but with that said, we went ahead and, like I said, I'm going to try this out. I, I've already had one. And I suggest if you're uh, a full strength smoker or you're a cigar guy that likes to smoke all kinds of different cigars, uh, make sure with a lot of the Connecticut you smoke them first. Because if not, some of the other cigars will not help you in that experience. I'll ride into the uh, pre-cut, or the pre-draw and the cut, you can see that the wrapper is very, uh, what, you can definitely tell minimal veins, I mean there are hardly any, I can barely see some of the seams, I mean that's some good quality control right there, and like I said, box pressed, cut it off with a straight cut and no issues because I had a sharp cutter, um, real silky fill, uh, medium to tan like I said. Uh, and you know running your finger I'm not noticing a lot of imperfections just maybe minor but I mean geez the ruling on this is superb so let's go ahead and we'll light it up and get into that first third all right let's go ahead and light it up we'll use a torch today gonna light it up just a little bit before we get going I like to get that started and then move in Right off the bat, I get the cedar. Noticing a little bit of a like a, a sweet fruit profile. Touch of a little bit of uh, creaminess, not a lot to begin with. I'm noticing that uh, that cedar in the retro hell and the smoke. As you can tell so far, burning really well. Not, well, there's a little bit, but you know. With that said, we'll keep puffing away in the first third. We'll be back after this with our second third uh, in just a moment. All right, everybody, back to our second third of our review of the 2012 by Oscar 
Uh, you can see the cigar is burning pretty good, almost razor sharp. You can see the ash is holding pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with it so far. Like I said, the, the real mild stick. Um, it's not mild, I'd say it's more of a, a medium for those who smoke mild to mediums. Uh, but for someone like myself, I smoke a lot of full strength, so to me it's a mild. Uh, it's not a bad cigar, it's great for in the morning. Uh, right now I'm on the porch uh, with the air a little bit cooler in Arizona and it's perfect with this and some coffee uh, but if you're not a coffee drinker whatever you decide to smoke it with or whatever uh, but man so far pretty good getting a little more cre creaminess and there goes the ash finally you didn't see that battery play um, real creaminess and the fact that uh, like I said it burns about two inches is what I've read on other reviews and that was about it so that's that's on the money uh, real mild uh, I can tell there's a little bit of spice starting but it's not going to be too overpowering this is definitely going to be a cigar for those who uh, are I wouldn't say lightweights they just prefer the lighter cigars uh, definitely something you like I do like though like I said so far the construction no issues no burn issues I don't have any unraveling it's phenomenal so with that said, I'll keep puffing through the cigar. We'll get to the final third. I'll give you my final thoughts about the cigar right after this. All right, everybody, in the final third of a review of the 2012 Connecticut by Oscar. Uh, I'd say uh, a little bit of pepper still there, not much. Um, more of a spicy, like a little bit of a, uh, a sweet spice in a nut, plurophile, maybe cashew I'm not sure but again definitely a mild to medium on the cigar and roughly you can see I still got probably about 34 minutes 34 I don't know you know 30 40 minutes left because uh, I'm taking my time on this uh, if you power through it it's about an hour and a half normally but again it just all depends on your pace it's definitely a great cigar for those who are like Connecticut smokers or those who like mediums um, construction not really an issue you can see it's kind of coning a little bit meaning the outsides burn a little bit faster as I get through but that all depends on the smoker too because if you're puffing quick through like I was doing so I was busy doing something uh, I'll get that but all in all definitely suggest you check it out and as I said before you can get an embargo take a look there they have it I know it's available all over the place uh, but if you like this video give me a thumbs up hit that like and subscribe button also uh, Thanks for tuning in to Scars of Whiskey. Have a great day, have a great smoke, and I will see you next time.